What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's Mr. Forsington here, and there's a bunch of discounts this week. We have, first off, the cars, FMJ, followed by the trophy truck, which is going to be the car of the week, and the Desert Raid, Maxwell Vagrant, the Barrage, the Ramp Buggy, Thruster, and then if you have Twitch Prime, you can get the ETR-1, the LF-22 Starling, or the Vespucci nightclub for free. Now, the podium car is the Vapid Caraca 4x4, which is typically $875,000. Now, this thing looks pretty good, and it has a lot of customization that you can do to it. Uh, it's a pretty good performing truck as well. It's not the best that you could possibly get, but it's definitely one of my favorite trucks. Now, as far as making money this week, the best sale that you're going to get is going to be on all the MC businesses as well as the clubhouse. Now, if you have a nightclub or you can get the Vespucci one for free, then you can start building passive income with those. And also, it will give you access to the facility. To get those MC businesses, the first thing that you're going to have to do is get an MC clubhouse. And I have mine in the city, but you can get them out here as well. And they're the cheapest right there, too. And it doesn't really matter where you get it because you're only using it to buy the businesses. Now, these businesses were something that the crystal ball predicted last week. You can see the spacing was pretty even with the last couple times that it's come up. So if you don't pick it up now, it's going to be several months before it shows up again. So you definitely want to be taking advantage of this while it's here. It was even more overdue for the two times money on these, so you definitely want to be stacking as much cash as you can this week because it might not be this good for a while again. Now, once you get your clubhouse, you can customize it any way you want. This one isn't the exact way that you'll get it, but getting these cosmetic upgrades doesn't actually do anything for you. It's just kind of a different look. Uh, you can store bikes in the garage as well, and you can even get a custom shop to work on them as well as the option to do MC contracts, which give you a little bit more money. The primary function of owning the clubhouse, though, is to give you access to the MC businesses. Now, these are all the ones that I have, so I definitely recommend the Grand Sonora Desert or Alamo C for the cocaine lockup. The cool thing about those locations is that it seems like the cell missions are usually easier, and the prices for those ones are actually kind of in the middle range, so it's not a bad deal. Now, these charts, if you want to pause it on these, it will tell you exactly how many sell missions that you're going to have to do for a turnaround rate to break even with these businesses, whether it's upgraded or not. Now, what you really want to consider this week is because everything is two times money and it's discounted, that all compounds so that these numbers that you're going to break even at is really closer to about a quarter of what it suggests, which means that you're going to be breaking even within one or two cell missions at the most for the majority of the businesses. And another really important thing to think about is that it's actually not that beneficial for you to get the really cheap businesses like weed or the document forgery, because if you look at the the turnaround rates, it was actually the highest on the document forgery and it pays the least. So you really want to go big or go home in this situation. Now these cell missions can get a little bit repetitive, but it is pretty good money and it seems to me to be pretty low effort. So once you're ready to sell, you can get some help and you can do one of the cell missions. Now I think these cell missions have about an average of 15 minutes and sometimes it can be more, sometimes it can be less, but for how much money you get, I feel like it's definitely worth it, especially when it's 2x, because you can see right there that this is over a million dollars for a cocaine sale that took 12 minutes. So, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. You can also go to your arcade. What's this guy doing? Like drifting, going straight? Anyway, if you own an arcade, you can buy supplies for all of these businesses at the arcade, so you never actually have to do any of the groundwork before the sell missions. Now you lose out a little bit of profit on this, but as long as those businesses are fully upgraded, it really doesn't matter and you still end up making pretty good money. I never really seem to be in need of it. This is me just going through right here and buying the supplies and you can even take care of your bunker here too. So it's definitely a really handy thing to have. And here's also the nightclub here, just restoring the popularity. It's super useful to have because I don't really like grinding that much. I like spending my time doing stupid stuff. 
Now, so a great way to make money this week if you don't have those businesses already or you need a little bit of money on the side to get them, is going into your start menu to the Rockstar Created Jobs and you can see the target assault is three times the money this week. And basically what you do is you'll spend a lap driving somebody in the back of your truck around and they'll be shooting these targets. And once you cross the finish line to the next lap, you seat swap. And then you become the person who's shooting or driving or whatever. And you wanna go for those red targets or the purple ones, whichever ones are giving you the most points. And then eventually you'll cross the finish line. I think you also wanna to try to win the race too but I think most of your points come from hitting the targets. So it's pretty good money, 27,000 in seven minutes. Now, as far as the races go this week, we have the land race in Polito Bay, which is called Up Chiliad. And then in the city, we have a RC race, which is Little Soul Park. And I'll start with the land race this time. Basically, you wanna go Up Chiliad, just like the description says except it's a little bit trickier than you might think so definitely pay attention to the time and hit reset if you need to because it's not worth trying to go down the mountain a hundred times it will basically just respawn you right at the start and so you can just keep trying it over and over but the key to this one is to actually cut across this area and then hit this step up right here land next to that tree on the ground as low as you can and then pull a wheelie up of this hill as far as you can. Now, you're, if you're using the Bati 801, you really don't have that much time to play around with, and this one's pretty tricky as is. Yeah, I would say it's definitely one of the more complicated ones, so this isn't gonna be so much easy money as it is entertainment. But once you get up this hill to this area right here, you're gonna hit this as a jump and try to land on that path right there. Now. Sometimes that's easy, sometimes it's hard. It kind of just depends, it's sort of random. But keep your momentum going through this area and the next tricky part is gonna be when you go around this corner here, you're gonna need to get up to the finish line there, you can see it, and there's no amazing way up there. I usually take the stairs because it seems like it works and if you can do it, it's 100,000, but it's definitely a little bit tricky. Now, the RC car race is quite a bit easier than that. Uh, here it is in Little Soul, and you just kind of go around the skate park, and there's not really a, a lot to this one, I don't think. Um, this is a little bit of a tricky area right here because you have a tendency to want to break loose, and um, you're also going down a big hill. And up to this point is just pretty open. Um, the tricky part with this one is kind of where the people are standing usually changes. But this area can be a little confusing because it has the rails there that can throw you off. And then whenever you go over this crest in the middle you have to be careful that it doesn't mess you up. And here we have the basketball court. You just kind of do a loop around it, sort of. And then you'll just go straight across the half pipe into the finish. This one doesn't take too long, so if you have the RC Bandito, it should be pretty easy money. So getting back to our income versus discount graph. Now, if you look at the right side here at this yellow line, this is your income if you own both of the businesses. And what we can see has happened here is it's crossed over this discount rate. And this has happened several times before. You can see there's one cross right here, and then there's another cross right here. Now, what has happened every time that the income exceeds the discount rate is that the discounts then exceed the income in sometimes a pretty spectacular fashion. So, Basically what this is implying is that this is going to be an uptrend in discounts. And so this week, you really, really need to stack as much cash as you possibly can because what's probably gonna happen next? There's gonna be a ton of discounts and you won't have money if you're not stacking the cash. 
Now, another way to look at this is to look at the big descending triangle here. We have decreasing discounts, which has a support level of somewhere down here below the 10 million mark. And these two big red lines will eventually converge at a point that looks like it's about two weeks out. And that's when we should see some discounts. So some of these discounts could be the Akula, because if you look at the spacing that has been going on this year, it's very evenly spaced. And we're like right in that same spacing and definitely due for something for the Akula, I think. Um, the same could be said for the Arcade. I mean, there's been a massive gap here for Arcades, so it might be a little bit hard to predict, but it kind of seems like, well, maybe that could come up soon again. Maybe it will be another month. Who knows? And when I say these discounts might be two weeks out, that might not be totally correct because it may be forming a larger pattern and take several more weeks after that to reach the peak. So another one of these discounts that could be is the Avenger. And if you look at the Avenger, it's pretty evenly spaced and the facilities were on sale last week. So it seems likely that that will come up soon too. Now, it looks like we're due for something with Arena Wars as well. If you look at the spacing from the rest of the year on this, it actually looks like it's pretty much overdue. So that's something that could come up. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we're also due for air freight to be two times money again. And the reason I say unfortunately is just because it's not that great of money. But it does look like it's kind of lining up to be pretty soon. If that's something that you like. Now, CEO offices have also been trending like ridiculously often this year. So those look to be the correct spacing as well. Uh, there was a large gap earlier in the year, but it definitely looks like right now it could come up again. So who knows? Same thing for homes and garages as well. It looks like it's been a lot more frequent in the later part of this year. It wasn't quite as busy in the earlier part of the year. You can see the big gap there. So there might be chances for that again soon. Who knows? I think what this is all building towards is two times VIP money. That is probably something that's going to be coming up soon just based on the spacing. Now, if you are really active with this and you can put up with the grinding for a week, this is the most profitable thing that you can do in GTA. So it's definitely worth your time. And if we're lucky, it will coincide with the week that we have a ton of discounts. So we'll see. Um, my car of the week is the trophy truck. And as you can see, it's just got this really aggressive ability to just take on any road. It's got really plush suspension and just soak up anything. You can see this area right there, just over these massive boulders and just getting thrown around. Uh, it's also great at crawling too. You can see this area just goes through there like nothing. This is on sale for something like 330000 this week. And it's super worth it if you like going off-road. Anyway, that's it. See you later.